In a court decision which might seem surprising to many, on Tuesday morning, former Hells Angel Sergeant at Arms Dane Brykovic was found not guilty of displaying his bikey insignia. This decision has made Brykovic the first to successfully challenge Western Australia's anti-insignia laws. Brykovic arrived at court in his trademark basketball Scotty Pippen jersey, with his wife, but was denied entry and turned away, as per court etiquettes. He then changed his attire and returned wearing a formal white shirt. As usual the media magnet was surrounded by reporters and journalists, some of who had flown from Melbourne and Sydney, and as usual Dane did not utter a single word. This bikey news was widely reported on television, social media, and in print media outlets. Good evening. WA's most notorious outlaw has won a landmark legal victory over the state's new anti-bikey laws. Former Hells Angel Dane Brakovich is the first to be acquitted of displaying a banned insignia at trial. Now police will have to pay him. Good evening. A notorious Perth bikey has had an extraordinary court win. Cleared of flaunting his gang colours in public, Dane Brakovich is the first to successfully challenge the state's anti-insignia laws. West Australians will now have to foot the bill. In December, Brakovich went on trial in the Perth Magistrates Court, where he was accused of wearing a Hells Angels t-shirt while walking down an Ascot Street in January 2022, and displaying bikey tattoos at a Belmont shopping centre a few days later. Displaying outlaw motorcycle gang insignia, including tattoos and clothing, is now banned in Western Australia and the offences have penalties of up to 12 months in jail or a fine of $12,000. Brakovic pleaded not guilty and denied these charges. Brakovic told the judge that he had been booted from the club way before these two incidences. And this is a case of mistaken identity. He said that he was booted out over the phone, after bashing the club's president, and because of that abrupt goodbye he wouldn't have and will never show Hells Angels colors or anything 81 ever again. I got kicked out on the 16th of January, it was a Sunday Brykovich said. I got told by phone call that I was out. After that there's no way I'd be wearing anything Hells Angels. Brykovich then described how he had waited two days for his Hells Angels paraphernalia to be collected by members of the club, but nobody came. When he realized no one was coming, Brykovich collected his Hells Angels clothing into eight large plastic garbage bags and left them at the Good Sammy donation bin. I had Hells Angels everything, he said. The only thing I didn't have was Hells Angels socks and jocks. Brakovic further added that after he was out of the club, he would turn to his wife every time he left the house, who would use black pen and foundation to cover up the Hells Angels tattoos, until he got them inked over. Brakovic strongly suggested that the man in both the videos is not him, claiming that the shirt worn by the person depicted was a fake. I've got 200 grand around my neck and I don't wear fake clothes, he said, referring to the signature heavy gold chain he is known to wear around his neck, which was not visible in the video. That's my trademark, everyone knows that, he said, adding that he knew the shirt shown in the clip was a cheap knockoff because it should have the word Australia written under the letters H-A-M-C. He also argued that nothing but the death head should have been visible on the back of the shirt, as it breached the gang's official merch regulations, set out in the world rule book provided to members. You're not allowed to have anything other than the patch on the back, he said. Brakovic also claimed that the guy the police officers filmed walks with a limp, however he does not, he walks straight up and down looking like a million bucks. His wife, Jacinta Hill, also took to the witness box and told the judge that Dane would likely have been at work as a contract demolition worker on the days in question, and she would apply makeup daily to cover his club tattoos every morning before he went to work. On Tuesday 17th of January 2022, in delivering the verdict, Magistrate Sarah Oliver acquitted Brykovic of both incidences, stating that it was not sufficiently proven that the person in the CCTV footage was him. The magistrate also noted that the footage of Brykovic in the shopping center was not clear enough to determine if his gang tattoos were visible. The court awarded Brykovic $4,000 in legal costs. 
these costs will be coped up by state police. A verdict of not guilty simply means that there was on the evidence before the court, a reasonable doubt about the offender's identity. However, this is not the end for the court visits for Dane, he still has to face court on another matter where he has been accused of a violent rampage targeting his tenants at his Cloverdale property. We already covered this story earlier in this video.